Valentine's Day is all about love and passion. But what happens when that love and passion take a turn for the worst? And the following story is an extreme example of that. This particular person took that whole love thing really, really seriously. Here's my Instagram page, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell for more content. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. I killed my wife for you. That's exactly what happened on February 14th in 2013 when Minister Nathan Luthold killed his wife, Denise, in what was suspected as a Valentine's Day gift for his 20-year-old mistress from Lithuania, Ina. At around 3.15 p.m. on February 14, 2013, Luthold made a call to 911, alleging there was a break-in at his in-laws' home in Peoria, Illinois. Luthold, his wife Denise, and their three children, Seth, 12, Julia, 10, and Janelle, 4, resided with Denise's parents. Denise had not been answering her phone or text messages all day. She did not show up to pick up Janelle from daycare and her family began to worry. Luthold claimed he was on his way to pick up Janelle when daycare called and said Denise still had not shown up, but he decided since he was close to home, he'd swing by there and check on her first. When he arrived home, the garage door was open and there was broken glass on the ground. Luthold immediately called 911. He never entered the home to see if anyone was inside or if his wife was okay. When Luthold made a call to 911 operator, he seemed to be stuttering when she was asking what was happening and as if he was searching for what to say. Police arrive and enter the home and find Denise on the floor dead from a gunshot wound to the head. Nathan told the police he had three guns and the .40 caliber Glock was missing, which was the same type of gun his wife was shot with. There were some rather interesting text messages that took place between him and his mistress, Ina, that led police to suspect that the two had talked about killing his wife and that Ina knew Luthold was going to do it and stage a break-in. Ina and Luthold met while he and his family were on a missionary work in Lithuania. Ina and her mother were heavily involved in the church and Ina helped out with the children often. When they were to return home to the States, Deluthold sponsored Ina as an exchange student interested in ministry work and music. Luthold became obsessed with her and carried an extended relationship with her. Many of his emails to her were used as an evidence in the case the persecution but worth over a six-day trial with more than 40 witnesses. It took only a meager 19 minutes for a jury to return a guilty charge for first-degree murder. Luthold never took the stand, but in his statement to the families, he still maintained his innocence and he claimed he would continue to pray that her real killer would be found and brought to justice. Peoria County Circuit Judge Kevin Lyons offered a gut-wrenching speech before rendering this sentence. I have to give you credit. You have led a law abiding life, and for many years you did good things, but you have poisoned it all, he began. He went on to tell Luthold it was shameful for him to have killed her in her parents' home, a place she and her children felt was a happy place. This crime should not be a reflection of the church or the missionary work or the organized religion. It should be a reflection of you, he said. Prosecuting state's attorney Jerry Brady called the murder a Valentine's Day present to Dobilaite. It was well planned, as evidenced by the internet searches for ways to silence a 240 caliber Glock, the same type of weapon Luthold owned and the same type used to kill his wife. 
Brady alleged that Luthold was a cold-blooded killer who blew his wife's head off, staged the crime scene and then went on about his day, ensuring he was on camera everywhere he went to create an alibi. However, Luthold's attorney, Hugh Toner, claimed his client was not the man that the state's attorney was making him out to be. Toner said his client had no prior criminal record and should get the minimum sentence of 45 years, since basically any sentence would be a life term, because in this state of Illinois, one must serve 100% of any prison term for murder. Toner also claimed that there was no proof that Ina and Luthold had any romantic relationship. Both had denied any type of relationship. To which Judge Lyons spat out loud. Really? A rather unexpected outburst for a judge. Lyons told Luthold, You will end your life in a cold and gray isolated Illinois penitentiary where you will be more of a number than a name. You'll be leaving this county to become more of a nobody and less of a somebody. Then he handed down an 80-year sentence. This is not the only Valentine's Day murder, but it's certainly one that is disturbing. It's one thing for a husband to murder his wife, and a whole other thing when a man is supposed to be a man of God, who murders his wife in an attempt to impress his young lover in an epic way and prove his utter devotion. And this is it for this very unsettling story. I wanted to find something Valentine's Day special and thought this would be a great piece to add to my cold-blooded cases. Please let me know in the comments down below whatever you think about this case. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and click the bell. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video.